the bachelor's degree tier list of 2023 in today's video i am going to be ranking bachelor majors from s tier which is the best to f tier which is the worst so i'm going to be ranking the top 100 most common bachelor's degrees right these are the degrees that a lot of people tend to get because there's actually over a thousand different bachelor degrees out there and the truth is there's just no way i can make a video about all of them and even if i did by the time i got through them they probably wouldn't even make sense anymore so this is based off of the newest version of my college degree ranker and I put an insane amount of effort into this list right so I've updated the ranker several times I even hired a professional statistician to help me out with it so if you appreciate me making videos like this go ahead and Thor smash that like button with your hammer and let's go ahead and jump into it all right so I'm gonna be going through these one by one of course I'm not gonna have time to explain my choices and if I went through all of them one by one in detail of course this video would be like three hours long so I'm not gonna do that so check out my other videos if you want more detailed explanations. All right, so first one on the list is going to be actuarial mathematics. Um, I'll put the stats, the early career pay, mid-career pay, salary score, demand score, meaning, and the bachelor grads per year if I can find that if it's updated. So I'll put all that stuff up. Um, I'm probably going to do it incredibly fast. So just go ahead and like pause the video if you need to look at that stuff. But yeah, actuarial mathematics, pretty good degree at the bachelor's level. I'll go ahead and put this one into A tier. Next one on the list is going to be business administration. So here's the stats up on the screen. This one is one of those degrees where you do see relatively decent numbers, but I do think it's a case of correlation and not causation. But with that being said, that's just my opinion. So take it with a grain of salt. There really is no way to accurately determine whether it's correlation or causation. Causation. Um, but this one, I'll go ahead and put it into B tier. Next one on the list is nursing. Great degree. Uh, BSN is what it's called. I'll go ahead and put all the stats up for you. This one overall, I am going to put it into S tier. Next one on the list is psychology. Um, this is one where at the bachelor's level, it's not very good. But if you go into it with the right plan, if you know that you're gonna have to get a master's at minimum and probably a doctorate, this one can be okay. But with that being said, so many people graduating with this one every year, 105,000. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into C tier. Next one on the list is going to be biology. Another one that a ton of people graduate with every year. I would say this is one of the most, if not the most overrated degree because everybody says, oh, STEM degrees are great. STEM degrees are great. Well, the truth is a lot of the science degrees are not that great. So yeah, 73,000 graduates per year. This one is gonna go into D tier. Accounting is gonna be next on the list. A uh, very, very solid degree overall. It's also relatively flexible. I'm, I'm not sure whether I should put it into S tier or A tier. Really tough one for me. I'm gonna go ahead and put accounting into A tier. Next one on the list is liberal arts. This is just a very general degree, 44,000 grads per year. Year. This one goes into F tier. Next is humanities. Uh, this one also goes into F tier. Next is natural resources. I think this is kind of a conglomerate of different degrees, about 39,000 grads per year. I'll go ahead and put this one into D tier. Next on the list is going to be finance. A uh, really good degree, uh, very similar to accounting. Can be S tier for sure for the right type of person, especially if you go to the right college. Um, but overall, I'm going to put it into A tier. Next on the list is marketing. Marketing, I, I think this is really a case of correlation and not causation. I think that there's just a ton of demand for people who have marketing skills, but that doesn't necessarily mean that college is gonna be good at teaching you marketing skills. But with that being said, again, just my opinion, 35,000 grads per year, I'll put this one into A tier. Next one on the list is political science. One of the better liberal arts related and social science related degrees, 33,000 grads per year. I'll go ahead and put it into C tier. Next is government, very closely related to political science, um, but not quite the the same thing. I'm going to put that one into D tier. Next on the list is mechanical engineering. Of course, engineering degrees are great. Mechanical engineering is one of the most flexible engineering degrees. 32,000 grads per year. This one goes into S tier. Next is English language. Uh, stats are not very good for this one. I'll go ahead and put it into D tier. Next is going to be economics. Uh, statistics here are relatively good. I'll put it in A tier. Next is going to be elementary education. Um, education degrees are good in that you're almost guaranteed to get a job, but they're bad in almost every other category. So education degrees go into C tier. Next is going to be sociology, about 27,000 grads per year. This one goes into D tier. Next is going to be kinesiology. At the bachelor's level, not a good degree at all. If you're planning on doing something at the master's, 
master's or the doctorate level where kinesiology would help you, it can be okay. Um, but overall, I'll put it into D tier. Exercise science, uh, kind of the same thing at the bachelor's degree. It's just, it's terrible as a bachelor's degree. Um, if you are planning on doing something later on down the line, it can be okay. So I'll go ahead and put it into D tier. Liberal arts studies, um, you know, anything with the word studies in it, it's kind of a meme. 24,000 grads per year. This one goes into F tier. History is next on the list. History is probably my favorite subject personally. But as a degree, especially at the bachelor's level, it is terrible. I'll go ahead and put it into F tier. Computer science. I don't think I need to say much about this one. Clearly S tier. Social work at the bachelor's level. You know, this one can be okay. Just know that you absolutely have to get like at least a master's, if not a doctorate. So this one I'm going to put into C tier. Information science is going to be next on the list. Anything information or data related is really good. I'll put this one into A tier. Mathematics is next on the list. Can sometimes be a little bit impractical, but overall the statistics are relatively good. Again, you kind of have to question correlation or causation with this one, but I'll put it into A tier. Electrical engineering is next one on the list. Super, super good degree. I'll put this into S tier. Electronics engineering is also pretty good. I'll put that one into S tier as well. Criminal justice is going to be next on the list. Um, this is one where uh, I have such mixed feelings about it because a lot of the career paths that you would go down don't actually require you to get a criminal justice degree. In fact, a lot of them don't even require you to have a bachelor's degree in general. But if you are trying to get a job that requires a bachelor's degree, you know what, I, I can see criminal justice being okay. Um, I'll go ahead and put that one into C tier. Next one on the list is criminal justice administration. I'll go ahead and put criminal justice into C tier. Next is gonna be chemistry. Chemistry is actually pretty good for a science related degree, especially. I'm debating whether I should put it in B tier or like low A. I'll be nice and I'll put it into A tier. General studies is next on the list. I mean, come on, general studies, are you kidding me? This one clearly goes into F tier. Civil engineering is gonna be next on the list. I'll go ahead and put this one into A tier. Early childhood education is next on the list. Um, the numbers are not very good here. I'll put this one into D tier. Health administration is gonna be next on the list. Again, numbers are not too good. I'll put it into C tier. Journalism is going to be next on the list. The numbers are surprisingly okay here, but again, you kind of have to question here, is it correlation or causation? I'm debating whether I should put it in C tier or a really low B tier. I'll be nice and I'll put it into B tier. Next one on the list is chemical engineering. This one is clearly a super good degree. It goes into S tier. Next is going to be art history. Not a great degree at all, about 10,000 grads per year. This one I'm gonna put into F tier. Next is art, also gonna put this one into F tier. Next is gonna be communications. I'll put communications into D tier. Next is mass communications, also goes into D tier. Next is gonna be information technology. So this is one where you can get into a lot of IT jobs without a bachelor's degree or even an associate's degree. But with that being said, getting a bachelor's degree is definitely not a bad idea. So I'll go ahead and put this one into A tier. Biochemistry is next on the list and I'm debating whether this one should be B tier or A tier. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into B tier. Family studies is next on the list. This one clearly goes into F tier. Drama, clearly F tier. Theater arts, F tier. International relations, um, the statistics aren't too bad here. And this is kind of a dark horse one. It could be really good or it could could be terrible in the future. I think this one you really have to plan it out, but I'll go ahead and put it into B tier. Anthropology is next on the list. Uh, this one, especially at the bachelor's level, is going to go into F tier. Management information is going to be next on the list. My favorite business degree, this one is S tier. Gender studies is next on the list. And <laughs> Do I even need to say anything? F tier, obviously. Criminology is going to be next. This one, ah, man. Again, if you have a really good plan, it could be okay. Oh, I'm debating D or F tier for this one. I'll put it into D tier. I'll be nice. Music is going to be next on the list, F tier. Computer engineering is clearly S tier. Human services, uh, this one's F tier. Biomedical engineering, hmm. S tier or A tier? I'll go with A tier for that one. Same with bioengineering, uh, pretty similar, just slightly worse stats. I'll put that one into A tier. Physics is gonna be next on the list. Uh, this one is quite good. But again, it's probably a question of correlation or causation because people who are incredibly smart tend to go into physics and people who are incredibly smart tend to do really well in life in terms of finances. So I really don't know whether this one's correlation or causation, but I'm gonna put it into A tier. Next one on the list is human resource management. 
this is one where you can get into a lot of human resource jobs without getting this degree. But at the same time, the degree doesn't have terrible statistics. So I'm going to put HRM into C tier. Next one is human resources, very similar to HRM. I'm also going to put that one into C tier. It's slightly less good in terms of the numbers. Next on the list is environmental science. Now, what's interesting is there is a lot of stuff happening in the sustainability world right now. There's a ton of startups starting in sustainability and they are going to need people who are good at that sort of thing. So this is definitely a dark horse candidate. And I think last year I might've put this one as like D tier or F tier, but I really do see some positive trends happening here. And so I am gonna put environmental science into C tier this year. Next is public health. Uh, this is one where there are some jobs. It's kind of similar to teacher where you're probably gonna be able to get a job, but you're gonna be somewhat limited. So I'll put it into C tier. Next is physical education teaching. Uh, this one has really bad statistics, uh, just terrible statistics, but it is an education degree, so I'll put it into D tier. Next is gonna be environmental studies. This is very similar to environmental science, but it has the word studies in it, so it goes into D tier. Next on the list is going to be special education. Uh, another one doesn't have great statistics, but it is an education degree. I'll put it into D tier. Next is Spanish language. I'll put that one into D tier. Next is gonna be animal science, really, really bad statistics. Um, if you're planning on becoming a veterinarian, I could see this one working out for you, but basically anything else, probably not such a good idea. So this one is gonna go into D tier. Next on the list is neuroscience. Relatively good statistics here, but again, it could be a case of correlation and not causation. People who are interested in neuroscience are probably really smart, and so therefore they do relatively well in life. But I'll go ahead and put this one into B tier. International business is gonna be be next on the list. Uh, this is another one, kind of a dark horse candidate, could be really good or bad. I'll put it into B tier overall. Philosophy is gonna be next on the list. And this one, in my opinion, is the clearest case of correlation and not causation. It actually has relatively good statistics, but people who are interested in philosophy tend to be very smart and smart people tend to make more money over a lifetime. So I really don't think it has anything to do with philosophy actually helping you in your career. And I think it has everything to do with correlation. But with that being said, it does have good stats. So I have to put it into B tier. Next on the list is geology. Uh, this is another one with really good stats. And there are quite a few jobs out there for geologists. So I'll put this one into high B tier. Next is going to be managerial economics. Relatively decent statistics. Um, this one is going to go into low B tier. Next is industrial engineering. Really great degree. I'll put this in S tier. Next is interdisciplinary studies. <laughs> oh man, really, really bad. Uh, this one is going into F tier. Next is going to be supply chain management. Really good degree. Uh, very underrated, probably boring to a lot of people but I'll put this one in A tier. Next is gonna be architecture. Overall, this one goes into B tier. Next is graphic design. Statistics are actually somewhat okay with this one. Um, so I'll go ahead and put it into C tier. Next is gonna be communication sciences and disorders. So if you're planning on going into a very specific career path, this could be okay, but anybody else is not gonna be good. So I will put this one into D tier. Next is gonna be radio and television. This one goes into F tier. Next is going to be video production. This one goes into D tier. Next is going to be advertising. Uh, this one I'm going to put into B tier. Next is multimedia. This one goes into D tier. Next is aerospace engineering. Really good degree. Very solid. I'm going to put it into S tier. Next is going to be aeronautical engineering. Very similar to aerospace engineering. This one goes into A tier because the stats aren't as good. Next is going to be athletic training. This one goes into D tier. Next is organizational leadership. I'm also going to put this one into D tier. Next is exercise physiology. I'll put this one into D tier. Next is information systems security. Anything with information in it uh, is pretty good. I'll put this into A tier. Next is going to be geography. Statistics on this one are actually relatively decent. So I will put geography into B tier. Next is going to be education. This one goes into C tier. Next is gonna be cinema studies. This one goes into D tier. Next is going to be film studies. Same thing, goes into D tier. Next is going to be management sciences. 
relatively decent statistics here. I'll go ahead and put it into C tier. Next is going to be family and consumer science. This one goes into F tier. Next one on the list is going to be nutrition science. Uh, this one, decent statistics. Um, I will go ahead and put it into C tier. Next one on the list is going to not be a degree, and that is getting into careers that don't require a college degree. And one of those careers that I really love is going to be digital marketing. So I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel, including a 16 year old named James, and he was able to get a $40,000 a year job in digital marketing, working only 30 hours per week, right? So if a 16 year old can do it without any education or previous experience, you can do it as well. And it's a really good career path. Typically three to four years down the line, you're gonna hit that $100,000 a year mark. So alternative education and specifically digital marketing is gonna go into S plus tier. And if you wanna know how you can get into digital marketing yourself, go ahead, check out the free masterclass from my friend Seth, who has gotten thousands and thousands of people jobs in digital marketing. I will put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Don't go click on that video to check out that interview with James right now. You definitely don't want to miss out on it.